one story that we've been watching very closely here in New York is the uh, reports that have come out of the Associated Press about enhanced investigations by the New York Police Department of many uh, Muslim organizations, imams, many of whom turn out to be moderates or have in fact been very helpful to the police. Is that an example of the sort of issue that you're talking about? Well, that is an example. That's another kind of dragnet, the idea that you have to give the government power to just infiltrate a mosque or a political meeting. That's been another problem, a lot of focus on anti-war activists with the idea that that must be connected with terrorism somehow. And um, there was actually a consent decree in New York that limited what the federal government was going to be doing to infiltrate mosques and political meetings, which the federal government wanted to then withdraw after 9-11. They said, no, no, we just need the power to do whatever we want, you know, to not have any suspicion and to just kind of fish around. This is a problem in many different places in the country, and I think there's just a whole lot of evidence that when you allow all that discretionary power to be in one set of hands, executive branch hands with no oversight, there will be arbitrary and discriminatory enforcement. My book has many examples of that. To that point, is it fair to say that among civil, civil liberties advocates that President Obama's tenure has been something of a disappointment? It's been a disappointment, I think, in, in, the way that, in the sense that he has not rolled back a lot of the domestic you know, anti-terrorism program, and he really has been, under his administration, the policy and implementation, but the policies certainly, have been mostly the same as they were under President Bush. Uh, President Obama took a very different position with respect to Guantanamo and uh, enhanced uh, um, interrogation methods. But as to the things that affect ordinary Americans, that's the subject of my book, not Guantanamo and torture, but the things that really affect all of us. Uh, his positions have not been very different. 